partition management, and parted. Say you've installed a new hard drive on the local server. How are you going to set it up? One tool to that end is the command line utility, known as parted, which can help you create and manage partitions. I discuss one alternative to parted, fdisk, in a different video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new partition with parted. Let's review currently configured partitions, first on the first SCSI drive on the system with the sudo parted dev sda print command. I see three partitions here. Now let's repeat this process on the second SCSI partition and that shouldn't work as there's no disk label on it yet. I've just installed this hard drive. Okay, let's start the process of creating a new partition with the sudo parted dev sdb command. I'm taken to a parted prompt. Before you go any further, be aware any changes you make to this hard drive are written immediately. So be sure you've opened the right hard drive, or if you actually want to apply parted on a hard drive with existing data, back it up first. You can quit out of parted and go back in when you're ready. As suggested by the message, the help command provides a list of available commands, and as you can see, you can do a lot with parted. The print command, if a disk label exists, would print out current partitions. The make part command would start the process of creating a partition, but as shown with the error messages, I need to first create a disk label. So before I actually run the make label command, having to be really careful with parted, I run the help make label command which tells me a little bit more about what the make label command does. And as you can see here, I have a choice of several different label types. And believe it or not, the label type that applies for Linux systems is MS-DOS. That's a legacy thing. I can't explain it otherwise. So let's set a label for this new hard drive. The MS-DOS label and now I'm able to print the current partition table and of course I haven't created any partitions here yet so it's empty so let's make a partition the primary and extended options are partition types you can have up to four primary partitions on a standard hard drive the last one can be an extended partition, and once that extended partition is created, that can be subdivided into logical partitions. Since this is the first partition on this drive, let's make it a primary partition. I accept the default of the second extended file system, and will format it to the third extended file system shortly. We start it at the start of the hard drive, megabyte zero, and end it at 500 megabytes. We print to review the result, and remember this is already written to the partition table of this new drive, and we have a approximately 500 megabyte partition. If that partition is not the size I want, I could remove that partition. I could specify the partition number of one if I really want to remove it, but let's not do that. Let's actually apply a file system type, that second from last column, with the mkfs command. We apply it to partition number one and accept the default second extended file system. 
Now let's quit out of parted and run the sudo parted print command on that second SCSI drive. We have what looks like a partition formatted to that second extended file system, but we can format it to the actual Ubuntu Linux default third extended file system. That's the first partition on the second SCSI drive. And note that second from last column now shows that the partition is set up to the third extended file system. Thank you, and on to the next video.